So recently, a friend of mine says to me, Derek, you know you're heaviest at night before you go to bed and lightest in the morning when you wake up? Mm, okay, but that doesn't really seem to make sense. Of course it does. Overnight you're not eating anything for like eight hours, but you're still burning calories. So of course you'll be lightest in the morning. Yeah, but where's the mass going? Like how are you actually losing particles? You can't argue with me. I've weighed myself at night and the next morning and I know it's true. Is that after you went to the toilet? No, I told you that has nothing to do with it. Why do you have to disagree with everything that anyone says? You just like arguing. It's not that I like arguing, it's just that your statement seems implausible. I need some kind of mechanism that would explain how you could be heaviest at night and then lightest by the morning. Why don't you Google it? Okay, so I Googled it. And the results were a little bit disturbing. I'll be three to five pounds heavier during the nighttime hours, and when I wake up the next morning, I'm back down five pounds less. I usually wear myself in the morning. I'm anywhere from three to five pounds lighter. Odd. An empty body weighs less than a full one. The force of gravity also can weigh a person down. Really? Internet? This is what we're coming to? But these are just people posting on forums. Maybe people out on the street are different. So I'm gonna go find some people in Perth and see what they say. But what time of day do you weigh the most? Oh. What do you reckon? I suppose evening time when you're eating too much. Yes. Night time? Yeah, yeah. Night, time. night time. Night time. No, just before you go to bed. Yeah, I'd say that as well. And you're, you're lightest in the morning when you wake up. Well, you're lightest when you first get out of bed, so obviously if you keep on eating and drinking during the and day... You know, I can prove it because I'm one of these sort of people that weigh yourself, weigh, I weigh myself every single morning of my life and, just, and I'm always, always lightest in the morning. When are you the lightest? First thing when you wake up. Just right when you wake up? Yeah. You hop out of bed, Yeah. you are a light man. Yeah. Of course, the best way to settle this is with an experiment. So every night before I go to bed, I will weigh myself, and in the morning, before I go to the bathroom, I will weigh myself again. Now in any scientific experiment, it's pretty important to control your variables. So every time I go for my weigh-in, I'm wearing these exact clothes. I know, pretty snazzy, right? The hotel staff here have graciously allowed me to use their scale, but they told me I can't take it to my room, so I need to do the weigh-ins at the concierge. I'm going down for my first weigh-in, Sunday night, we'll see what my weight is right now at 1.17 a.m. All right. So, 72.10 kilos. Oh, where does the mass go while you're sleeping? Like, how do you lose weight while you're sleeping? I think it evaporates. <laughs> She sweats a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I consider digesting it all, so it's kind of probably compressed and out. No, but that's true. Where, Where does, does it go? go? Burning it, are we burning it, using it up, whatever. Burning carbohydrates. Okay. So where does the matter actually go? Where does the weight actually go? It's transferred as energy that your body uses as, you know, like science stuff, like ATP. Are you saying that we're converting matter into energy? Yes, that's one way of Is that what's getting happening? rid of it. It uses up the matter? Yeah. So your you're just matter is disappearing from inside you? Yeah, but that, that's my question. Everything you put into you doesn't all come out the other end as well. So your body uses So where does certain, it come out? Well, it uses certain parts of it to uh, sustain you and let you live. Uh, all right. So it doesn't, it doesn't come out of you? Yeah. Not all of it. It's uh, Monday morning. I've just gone up. I need to go to the bathroom. So before I do that, I'm gonna go down for my weigh-in. Hello. Last night I weighed 72.1 kilograms. Let's see what I weigh in the morning. 71.9, say 925 kilograms. I'm not really surprised. My mass has only changed by about 150 grams. It doesn't really surprise me, but um, yeah, I don't think it's uh, backing up my friend's theory. So we'll have to do this a few more times to make sure that uh, these results are valid. Ooh. The difference of about 
2.25 kilos, 250 grams. 72.05 kilograms, that's a loss of about 300 grams. So it looks like every night you lose about 250 grams, which is pretty similar to the amount that I've been losing every day this week. So how do you actually lose weight as you sleep? Well, every night this week, I seem to lose about 250 grams. I think about 150 grams of that was water loss through sweating and breathing out water vapor. So where's the other 100 grams going? Well, every time you breathe in, you're breathing about 500 milliliters of air, but only about a fifth of that is oxygen. Now, three quarters of that oxygen, you'll just breathe out again, but one quarter of it gets replaced with carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide compared to oxygen has the extra mass of carbon on every molecule. And the mass of carbon released in every breath is about a hundredth of a gram. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you add it up, 16 breaths a minute over eight hours, it adds up to about a hundred grams. Every time you breathe out, you're losing weight. Because... How <laughs> come I've never heard of that before then? I don't know, I mean, people don't talk about it, people don't think about it. Because I, I think a lot of people think that matter can be converted to energy. That you can take stuff and then it goes away somehow in the metabolic process, in that energy process. My point is, the atoms are still there, the matter is still there, you need to get rid of it somehow. And some of it is, is breathed out. So people were right when they said that you are burning calories and that's causing you to become lighter. They just didn't think about the exhaust, the water vapor and the carbon dioxide that you breathe out. So it may be the case that you're heaviest at night and lightest in the morning. But I think the real truth of the matter is you're heaviest after your biggest meal and lightest after you've gone to the bathroom. It's after lunch on Thursday, so let's see what difference a big meal makes. I was 71.1 kilograms, I'm now 72.55. Nearly added a kilo and a half. My lunch was nearly a kilo and a half. So this morning when I woke up, I was 72.1 kilograms, but now I've gone to the bathroom, so I'd like to see what difference that makes. Seventy point six kilograms. That is a lot of mass that I've lost. What is that, like 1.5 kilos? 1.5 kilos. That's a lot of mass.